this video is going to show you how you can do your baseline charting or your existing condition charting. So the first thing that you'll need to make sure you do is select the correct charting up here. Now, I am currently selected on my current state, my exam chart, which gives me the appropriate options down the bottom of the screen. If I were selected on my treatment chart, my options at the bottom will change. I'm not going to be able to do any um, proper charting if I'm selected down here because it doesn't give me the option to. This one is for treatment that's recommended. So we'll select the correct chart and then we can go ahead and um, start moving through. Now, the first choice that you're going to have to make is do I want to just chart straight onto my current state? And you can do that straight away. So I can select my 1.8 and mark that as missing, for example. Or do I want to create a new exam? There's no problem with either way that you want to go about doing this. But personally, I would recommend to create a new examination because it makes it much easier to see when changes have happened. So if I click on create a new exam, I can select the provider. Let's say Simon's doing that one today and OK. Now, the benefit of this now is I've got a dated examination and I can repeat this process in six months or 12 months. Whenever they're coming back in to have that recall done, I can do a new examination and then it's really easy for me to compare when changes have happened. Now I can go through and select my tooth. Um, so either select the outside of the tooth here where this is highlighted in blue to make changes to the overall tooth condition. And I've got my options down the bottom here. Or I can select the individual surfaces and it will give me some different options available. So I can say my 17DO has got caries. You can select as many different teeth um, as you need to. So I can chart all of my caries conditions at the same time. So let's say 25, 26, they've both got caries. You can keep selecting them and it will remember your previous selections until you actually put something down here. So maybe they've got existing composites. You are also able to use your keyboard instead of selecting it with your mouse. So I have put my mouse down completely and on my keyboard now I'm going to say four six. I just type in the numbers D O M and I type in the letters and I can keep going through four five D O jump across to three six uh, B O. It will remember your previous selections until you're ready to put in a condition. And from here, I can also use my keyboard to use uh, to pop in some shortcuts. So if I say shift and C, it's going to pop in those composite fillings for me. There are a number of different keyboard shortcuts available. You can find these all within the help section of Practica. So on your main screen of Practica, when you step out of the patient file, on the left hand side, you will see a help bar. They're all listed in there. A, a common question that we get from our customers is how do I chart a supernumerary tooth? So I'm going to say that this patient um, has got a supernumerary wisdom tooth. Um, let's say that the two nine. What I would need to do is select this area up the top here that's closest to that spot. So for this one, it's showing above the 27. I can select there and then mark supernumerary. And all it's going to do is give us that additional tooth up in that area that we can then mark as requiring extraction or just leave it there for our reference. In order to do this, you do need to make sure that you have your options turned on. There are two places that this has to happen. The first is in management charting. There is an option to show supernumerary teeth. And then in your view options on this charting screen, show supernumerary is also an option in here. And you have to make sure that that's enabled. All right. So the main thing to remember um, in your charting is select the surfaces or the teeth first and then select the condition that you'll need to pop in place here. 
So I can say maybe 2.4 has an existing fissure sealant and that will pop that in place. If you make a mistake, um, maybe it wasn't the 2.4 that you were supposed to select, it was the, um, the 2.7 instead. All I'd need to do is highlight that tooth and you will see over here in our conditions that 2.4 fissure sealant, we click and minus and then it's gone. So if you have to make any changes, you can select teeth, you can select multiples at a time, and then we would just get rid of them. And those charting options are now gone. So use your keyboard for shortcuts. You can use your mouse if you prefer. Whatever works best for you. I suggest just practice until you get into a good um, a good flow with it. Um, and then just make, make the option of, uh, am I going to do an examination or just put everything into the current condition? Just for reference, that help section I'm referring to is over here on the left hand side. So you can go help, scroll down to keyboard shortcuts and you've got your restorative shortcuts in here. So maybe print these out or just review them and see which ones you're going to want to use regularly. Um, and then after a while, they'll just be stuck in your mind. Thank you so much.